Hello and welcome to Geeky Guys. If you're into geeky things, we're the guys for you. Just a quick note before we get into the video for today. Uh, if you go on to the Patreon site uh, in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, there's a couple of exclusive videos that I'm putting up there uh, for patrons. So if you would uh, like to become a patron, now's the best time to do so. You're going to get more exclusive videos uh, per week and per month and whatnot. So go and check that out. As always, all links are in the description. Hello and welcome to the video here today. Whether you're here for the first time or you're returning. Today I'm having a discussion about the upcoming Strixhaven uh, pre-release uh, events that are happening this weekend. So, you know, well, this weekend essentially at least for the most part anyway. So most uh, events will be this weekend and I'm only going to be covering uh, the events that are happening here in our local area of Launceston. I'm not going to cover other areas because I, you know, I don't really know much about the other areas. I don't know the game stores. Uh, I don't really know much about uh, the, you know, the, the games themselves and whatnot, how they're doing their pre-release. I can't really, uh, I can't find it very easily to uh, the information, uh, you know, for those events, so I just would rather try to keep it to the local uh, areas that I know about. Uh, if you wanted to know more about your local areas, do try to find out from your local game stores. Google search, you know, game stores near me, uh, whatnot, that sort of thing, so that you can find out uh, information on your local areas uh gaming events if you want to go to pre-release or if you can go to pre-release if it is possible in your area again some areas are going to have different restrictions and whatnot uh, there are some restrictions in place here in Launceston uh, as I've sort of said in the past I did discuss uh, the local game stores I might put a link to what I discussed about you know the pros and cons of one versus the other uh, in the uh, chat there, or in the uh, cards there, uh, so, you know, there's that. Uh, for the most part, the uh, events that are happening, there are two events happening on Friday uh, the 23rd, one at Guff and one at Scenic Hall Gaming. Um, so, the one at Guff, I believe... It's the only event that they're actually having, having properly. It's just a very casual uh, set of games. You know, again, there's a lot of the games are very casual. You turn up, you buy your pre-release. There's only one set of rounds there, I think, you know, basically for the most part. So you go through your first um, matches. You know, if you win, you win. You lose, you lose. Um, you know, you face basically uh, three different opponents for the for the day unless you want to proceed to concede early uh, if you feel your deck's bad or if you've lost a couple of games and you don't feel like playing anymore what have you that's the same thing that's going to happen at scenic if you want to do that you can but again you have one lot of rounds for that day uh, there's also going to be commander on over at up or uh, game forge on that night uh, so it's very casual there as well uh, for that so you can easily get in on the commander games as well i'm not sure when they're starting doing that around maybe five o'clock six o'clock ish they usually do the quote-unquote lock-in uh, so you know not no one else can sort of come in once the event has sort of started uh, again, so, you know, that is there, um, and again, if you want to play those sorts of games, you know, that is there for you, uh, again, alright, that is the only event that I, uh, know that they're, they're probably doing, uh, 
Scenic Isle Gaming is having their event on at on Friday, and they are starting at 6:30. And the games do go uh, fairly late if you want to stay till the last round, or if you get to the last rounds. Uh, certainly, when you're talking about the weather and whatnot, the weather is a little bit bad, especially around this time of the year. Can be up and down, whatnot. Uh, the uh, range has been declared as part of the cloudy for that evening. So evenings are the worst. During the day is usually a bit better uh, because usually you can be like, well, even if it's raining outside, at least I don't have to worry about it. It might be clearing later. As I said, go, uh, see, uh, I'm going to get it right one of these minutes. Uh, Game Forge has the uh, only the one event. Um, Scenic has several uh, events. Uh, it has events also on Saturday. The event, uh, first event happening on Saturday starts at 11 o'clock, uh, goes to about 2.30 in the afternoon. I know, dentist o'clock. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, you know, there as well. So, again, you don't have to stick around for all the uh, events. You can just stick around for your couple of rounds or whatever, or if you just want to play some fun games on the side. Uh, or whatnot, or whatever it is. Again, of course, when you get in there, you do have time to, again, uh, all, with all of these, you have the time to sit down and play with your deck. And much like Ravnica Allegiance, I will say this about this specific uh, set of pre-releases. Uh, this set of pre-releases has the quote-unquote guilds or the uh, colleges uh, mechanic where basically you get a seeded pack that has uh, a two color pair pairing so you choose one of the two color pairs and you get a special uh, themed booster that has a lot of cards that are in those two colors one uh, mythic or rare i believe and the rest are just on color cards uh, of varying rarity between common and uncommon but anyway i thought i'd better mention that if you're thinking about going to these events and you're wondering what to expect. But again, that event there, uh, the weather's looking pretty good for Saturday, partly cloudy uh, again. So, you know, that's on. Uh, the next event will be uh, on the same day, but a little bit later. It starts at 3 o'clock and it does go to 6 o'clock. So this is the event where I usually start bailing out about this time i usually play on saturday in the early game i might play a couple games in the afternoon game but then that's about it for me because i usually like to go home get my dinner ready and whatnot all that other stuff and do my editing and whatnot uh things like that but again you know there are people that do like to play the games and there is another uh, event after this one but again there are some people that don't really like to stay out too late or whatnot I know there are some people that really like to stay out late, but what have you, uh, that's the way it is. But this is another uh, event uh, that you can easily go to and uh, play if you wish. Last event for uh, the schedule uh, is uh, on Saturday, same day, as I sort of said. goes from about 6.30 until about 10 o'clock at night, so goes very late uh, into the night so you know it is quite hard for some people again as I sort of say to make that event I know there are some people that are very dedicated and want to play as many events as they can I know that the cards are out on arena so I know that there are some people that are not as interested as what other people are interested in in uh, these events because you know they can just play with the cards on arena i know some people want to uh, play in person and whatnot they want to pick up the cards they have a few minutes to to spare while they're you know in the store or whatnot so while they're there they might get a few quick games and whatnot and if you sort of know deck building it's fairly easy to get your deck together pretty quickly i do recommend these uh, events for uh, newer players or returning players because it's pretty easy to sort of pick up the mechanics and whatnot for the most part 
most people are pretty lenient at pre-releases because, you know, people are seeing the cards and playing with the cards for the first time. And, again, if you sort of say to people, hey, look, I haven't played in a long time uh, or whatnot, things like this, just, you know, give me a minute or whatnot, I am seeing these cards for the first time or I haven't played in a really long time, I, I don't really know exactly what's going on, or all the mechanics have changed, and I don't really understand, you know, just give me a minute, I just need to read this card, I just need to try to understand what I'm doing, it's mostly fine with most people, uh, to just like, chill out bro, we're just here to have fun, we're just here to see, you know, what spicy things we pull for the most part, and if we can, you know, pull off the, the, the silly janky things that we've put in into our you know decks that we've just literally thrown together and that's a thing like again you throw these decks together with the cards that you open you don't have to have anything uh you might have to have some dice uh but the stores usually do provide the dice you sometimes need lands but the stores usually do provide the lands so you don't really need that you might need some sleeves but again the stores sell the sleeves and the sleeves for draft are usually very inexpensive for the most part so again if you want a deck box as well that's sort of optional uh, but again a lot of people do like that um, so that you know they can carry their deck around it does come with the deck box essentially i guess or the pre-release box uh, so you can put your deck in that. It's hard to put your uh, quote-unquote sideboard cards into that deck uh, box or that pre-release box as well as your deck, but you can do it. It is a bit of a squeeze sometimes, but you can do it. And as well, those decks do come with a tick-down or spin-down uh, life counter, so you know you can use that for your life counter you can keep it if you want to you cannot keep it if you want to again it is a useful uh object uh and again it is really good for new players uh returning players or players that just want to grab a few cards from the new set uh you know just see what you pull what you open you know just have a few fun quick games with people again like i say to some people it is a bit overwhelming to sort of um you know do this whole deck building process you don't know what you're doing but in most of the stores a lot of people are very helpful for the most part even if they're trying to sit there and go oh i don't know what i'm going to do with my deck yet uh for the most part a lot of people will try to help you out and there is the guide that's in the uh kits that sort of gives you a rough guide of you know what you should have in there you know number of lands uh, number of spells of certain costs and whatnot and things like that um you know i tend to try to you know cut uh things out that sort of uh very vanilla stuff uh, i find and you know that sort of thing i try to play the best cards that i can play for the most part uh it is a bit different uh than playing a constructed format you know because it's one of those things you don't know what you're going to get um you know and everyone's sort of on the same level as far as that con is concerned but as soon as someone sort of opens like a bunch of really good cards you kind of like hoping well i hope i don't go up against that person otherwise uh you're sort of like well i guess i'm gonna lose that um, but you know that's how it goes sometimes and you can only do what you can do and you know as again as i sort of say things do happen when you're playing, that's the variance of Magic. Uh, I know that they've tried to cut that down a fair bit in the last few years. Some people don't like that they've tried to cut down, you know, the variance and whatnot of how, you know, sometimes, you know, you can have a bad hand and it just sort of doesn't pan out because you didn't draw your second or third land or whatever, or you just drew 30 lands or whatever. Uh, things like that somehow in your 17 land deck, uh, things like that, you know, uh, but again, they have tried to mitigate that in the last few years, and I do actually think that, that is a good thing, it is one of those things that is tended towards more the spiky sort of area, which means basically those who really like to grind for tournaments and whatnot, not those people that just sort of 
hey man, I'm here to play some cards, let's have some fun, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the sort of area that I'm on because I'm on the area of I'm going to take a few of these cards for my commander decks or whatnot, things like that. I'm not as interested in, you know, sitting here and going, oh, you know, it's strictly wrong for me to not kill somebody's two drop or whatever on, you know, and things like that. Well, you know, like whatever, man. I'm just going to see how the game plays out. If I really need to kill their two drop or whatever at some point, I will. But, it, you know, again, that's the whole here and there strategy of, like, the, you'll find some people that are on all scales of competitiveness at these events so do be a little bit wary of that but do be if you are a newer player or whatever a returning player do be kind of like firm in the fact of saying hey look please be a little bit like <laughs> uh kind to me in a way i guess i don't know how you can exactly put it but just sort of take a moment with me because I'm just like, I haven't played for a long time or I've never played before or whatever. I don't really know what's going on. I've just thrown this deck together and I'm just trying out to play people who come to these events. And again, I'm sort of saying this as well to more new and established players. If you're at events, don't forget that these players are, that some of these players are new players. Take your time. Don't get too over competitive with things or whatnot yes you're there if you're there to win that's your jam whatever you're doing that good on you um go win that gold medal buddy uh that's not even there whatever but again most players come there to you know start learning how to play or relearning to play the game they're there for a good time for the most part and if they have a really bad time, I know people aren't intentionally out there to, for the most part to have, make players have a bad, people have a bad time playing. But again, just don't take it too seriously sometimes. Take it easy. If somebody makes a mistake or something or forgets something or whatever, then just, you know, it's all right. <laughs> you know, the game will continue. And, you know, who wins, wins, and who loses, loses. A lot of the time, those mistakes do make people lose. But, again, don't worry too much about it. It's all part of the fun and, you know, whatnot of, you know, playing the game. And, again, it's one of those things where if people uh, don't stick with the game uh, in, in paper, it doesn't matter as much. Again, I understand, but... It, but if they don't stick with the game overall, then that's a problem, I think, because you don't want to lose people to being like, well, that was a shit experience. I never want to play this game again. I didn't really understand what was going on. And, you know, you know, I understand, again, No, it's not like no one was helpful, but I just had a shitty time just because somebody was, like, too strict on the rules or too, you know, like... Uh, concentra concentrated on trying to win or whatnot and just wanted to beat me and I don't really want to play that way, you know, whatnot. I just wanted to learn and, and develop and whatnot, those things, or I wanted to reintroduce myself to the game, whatnot. So do keep that in mind. Again, if you're interested in these events, find the time that suits you. Uh, and find the location that suits you again it depends like again uh, on that day i don't think that there's very much happening at scenic isle gaming uh, i don't think there's any other events happening that day so it's going to be fairly quiet except for that specific uh quote-unquote tournament that's happening um so again you know that's how it's going down this weekend uh, if you're in the area, you want to check out playing uh, some Magic the Gathering, this is a great way for new players. It's a great way for quote-unquote younger players or newer players to the game that don't have as many cards or people who just want to get into the new set uh, and collect some cards for whatever decks you want to build uh, in the future or, you know, 
you know, down the road, whatever. So, yep, guys, you know, tell me, are you going to attend uh, the pre-release events this weekend? Uh, which events are you going to go to? And uh, which shops are you going to go to? Let me know down in the comments below. And also let me know if this video was helpful to you. Write it all down there in the comments below. Please remember that the success of channels like this is based on viewers like you. So please consider liking, sharing and subscribing if you would like to support this content. You can also get social with us on our Discord and on our Facebook. If you would like to further support the channel, you can go onto our Patreon. All links are in the description. Thank you for your support. It really means a lot. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video here today. And if you have, I hope you will come back for another one. See you then.
please remember that the success of channels like this is based on viewers like you so please consider liking sharing and subscribing if you would like to support this content you can also get social with us on our discord and on our facebook if you would like to further support the channel you can go on to our patreon all links are in the description thank you for your support it really means a lot I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video here today and if you have I hope you will come back for another one see you then